slightly from the main chemistry story to show you one or two of the conventions which have uh, driven this uh, particular resource. First of them is that uh, the names and the titles and such like are all in lowercase. The symbols of chemicals are in uppercase. The result is much clearer, much easier to read and appreciate what's going on here. Another one is that on the right hand side of the screen is where we try to locate the things that you needed to uh, press. I mean they do also happen in the screen but whenever there's some odd buttons to use, sliders and such like, they appear on this side of the screen. Uh, the hot colour is pretty evident but if you cannot see that colour you just look for the hand. It's a professional suicide I've always said to ever be seen consulting a teacher's guide but here the teacher's guide is actually hidden away in the lower part of the screen. It's written in kid speak to disguise the fact that you might be looking at it um, and also to have the double role of being useful with kids themselves. In about a quarter of the screens we've used these uh, RASMOL or CHIME models, however you call them. These are pretty much the industry standard in, in models. They're used everywhere. In years past these were very hard to access and if I wanted to use such a, a model I'd have a, uh, a folder a bit like this and I'd try and work out what on earth the names meant. Here's another folder with loads of them and trying to find the exact one you really 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 want is some challenge but all the ones that you see whooshing up the screen are actually built into the structure of this and they happen whenever you happen to need them. One of the things which is key to this resource is its modular nature. Each particular slide occupies one or two minutes of lesson time. Each one deals with an idea at one time so that when it comes to changes in the syllabus, changes in the way in which you teach or the sequence, you will not find too much redundant stuff that you don't want to talk about just now. So very very flexible and future proof against changes. As well as being small each slide occupies only a tiny bit of disk space, perhaps 200k, the sort of amount which goes across wireless connections with great speed. This means that in one version of the program you can put a copy on one machine um, and students can connect into that machine so uh, they can access it at night uh, when normally that machine would be switched off and unavailable to anybody.